In this tutorial, we're going to look at some alternative data, except this time our data has not yet been put into intervals. So over on the left hand side, we have some age range data for ages 17 to 20, 21 to 25, 26 to 35, and 36 to 60. And the scenario in this instance is the driving test pass age, or the age at which the people surveyed pass their driving test. Now before we can plot our cumulative frequency graph and our histogram, we're going to need to determine the intervals for each of these age groups. Now the important thing to remember, for this first group we've got people aged 17 to 20. So that will account for anyone who's just turned 17, right up to people who are just about to turn 21. If you recall, you're 20 until the day before you turn 21. So you could be 20.999 years old, and you would still state that your age is 20. So if we complete the interval for that group in the next column, that would be for people aged 17 or older, because the day they turned 17, they would fit into that group, but less than 21. Because the day that they turned 21, or on their 21st birthday, they would then fall into our next group, which is for people aged 21 to 25. So our second interval then is for people who are greater than or equal to 21, which will include people who have turned 21 on the day of the survey, right up to people who are less than 26. And we specify less than 26 because they might be 25.999 or 25 and 364 days. The day they turn 26, they would fall into our third group, which is for people aged 26 to 35. So this group will be for people aged 26 or older, but less than 36. And once again, the reason for that is because the day they turn 36, they'll drop into our next group, which is for people aged 36 to 60. Well, people aged 36 to 60, our interval is going to be people greater than or equal to 36, but less than 61. Because on the day a person turns 61, they will no longer sit in the group 36 to 60. We already have a column for our frequencies. There were 47 people in the survey who passed their driving test between the ages of 17 and 20. There were 34 people who passed between the ages of 21 and 25. 36 who passed between the ages of 26 and 35. And then 18 who passed between the ages of 36 to 60. Giving us a total number of people surveyed of 135. Now the next column that we're going to complete is our interval upper limit, and we need this in order to plot our cumulative frequency graph. Now the upper limit is the interval upper limit, so the upper limit of these interval groups here, not the upper limit of the original groups. That's a really important thing to remember, but it clearly states here interval upper limit. So our interval upper limits are 21, 26, 36, and 61. So now we can complete our cumulative frequency column. And the key thing to remember, as we've stated before, is a cumulative frequency graph is a less than graph. So if we refer to our upper limit column, we're looking for the number of people who were aged less than 21 when they passed their driving test. Well, of the people surveyed, 47 people were aged 17 to 20. And it's evident that all of those people are less than 21. Therefore, the number of people who passed their driving test at an age of less than 21 was 47. Next we have the number of people who passed their driving test aged less than 26. Well the people aged less than 26 would be anyone aged 17 to 20 plus anyone aged 21 to 25. So we need to sum 47 and 34 which is 81. So 81 people were aged less than the 26 specified here. Next we need the number of people aged less than 36 and once again that's going to be all of the people aged 17 to 20 plus 21 to 25 plus 26 to 35. So what we need to do is add these three frequencies here 47 plus 34 which we've already established is 81 plus an additional 36 which is going to give us 117. So 117 people were aged less than 36, which was all of these people here. And finally, the number of people less than 61 is all of our people 17 to 20 
plus 21 to 25, plus 26 to 35, plus 36 to 60. All of our participants were less than 61, and our total participants is 135. So we had 135 people, less than 61. Another way of working that out would have been to take our 117 people, less than 36, plus our 18 people, aged 36 to 60. 117 plus 18 gives us our 135. We now have all of the data that we need to plot our cumulative frequency curve because all we plot is our interval upper limit against our cumulative frequencies. So for the purpose of our cumulative frequency graph, I'm going to hide the columns that we're not using. And then we're going to plot those on a cumulative frequency graph, which we can then use in order to determine the median average age that someone passed their driving test. So on the left hand side of the screen, we have the data that's required to plot our cumulative frequency graph. And that data is our interval upper limits because the cumulative frequency is a less than graph. And then we have the column with our cumulative frequency values. On the right hand side of the screen, we have our axes set up ready to plot our cumulative frequency graph. On the x axis, we have the age of the participants in the survey. And on the y axis, we have the cumulative frequencies. So the first data point that we need to plot is an upper age limit of 21 against a cumulative frequency of 47. So we have 21 and 47, which sits there on our axes. Next, we have an upper limit of 26 and a cumulative frequency of 81. So we have 26 and 81, which sits there on our axes. Next, we have 36 and 117. So 36 and 117 sits there on our axes. And finally, we have 61 as our upper age limit and 135 as our cumulative frequency. So we're going 61 and 135, which sits there. Now, there is another data point that we can add on here. We know that none of the participants in the survey were less than 17. So if we take a value of less than 17 on our x-axis, and the number of participants in that instance is zero. Now we can complete our cumulative frequency graph by connecting the points together. And then once we've done that, we can use this graph to determine the median average of the data. So we connect each of our data points. OK, now to determine our median average, first of all, we need to find where our middle participant sits. We had 135 participants. To find the centre of that, we can do 135 divided by 2, which is 67.5. And we can round that up to 68. If all of our participants were lined up in order from the one who passed their driving test at the youngest age, right through to the one who passed their driving test at the oldest age, the person sitting in the middle would represent our median value. And basically that's what a cumulative frequency graph does. It lines up the participants at the lowest age right through to the participants in the survey at the upper age. So we need to locate our 68th person. And if we can determine what age they were when they passed their driving test, we will have our median average. The way that we do that is we locate 68 on our cumulative frequency axis which is going to sit around here somewhere. And once we have that value of 68, we're going to track across until we hit our cumulative frequency line. So I'm going to use a dashed line for this, running across until we hit our cumulative frequency line. And when we reach our cumulative frequency line, the next thing that we're going to do is track downwards until we hit our age axis. So tracking downwards from the line, we can then determine our median average. And we can see here that our median average is between 22 and a half and 25. And it looks like that is going to be 23.5 years old. And I'll just put in brackets there, median average age. 
Therefore, the median average age of people passing their driving test in this survey was 23 and a half years old. And there we have our completed cumulative frequency graph along with a determination of the median average age.